Got him. I got him. It's a good one. It's a good one, guys. Oh, it's a good fish. This is a good fish. Goodness, this is a good fish. Don't get in the structure. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am on Fowl River just out of Mobile, Alabama, and we're going to do some fishing. Uh, I'm going to come out and try and target some sheep's head. Going to maybe get a trout or a redfish or two, but anyways, it's cold. It just had a cold front move through. It's probably going to be tough fishing. And as you can hear, it's really, really windy, which I apologize ahead of time, but we're going to go fishing and I'm going to take you with me. The day, right here. We are on, and it is a sheep's head. All right. They're here. Check it out. It is cold. The sheep's head are little. All right. I think they got to be 12. And I don't know that he's going to make the cut, but we'll find out. Got him. Guys, we're on again. We've got. Another little sheep's head. A little bigger. A little bigger. Let's see if he makes 12 inches. Not bad. Two of the day. Little guys. Goodness, is it cold out here. Alright, let's see here. Well, this dude does not think he's going to make it. All right. No, sir. But that's a cool little fish. This is what we are here to catch today. All right, throw him back. Let's go get some more. Right next to those pilings, we're gonna let that thing sink. And these little fish, little sheep's head, when they bite, the line just goes tight. I mean, that is really all. You cannot feel anything else. guys and just like that this might be a bigger fish oh yeah look at that it's a little better fish just like that and he will keep okay and he will keep after he just crapped all over my boat oh dang it come on over get out of the boat he was hooked good guys we have another one for the boat and there he is since my back camera is not recording there we go that's two for the day okay guys we're gonna drop down here again just like that and what I'm using 20 pound braided line, 20 pound fluorocarbon leader with a bird of prey swing jig in fiddler color. We're gonna see what we can come up with. And 
this wind is brutal and it's about 50 degrees it feels like it's 20 degrees out here not too bad I got two Got him, guys. We're on again, fellas. All right, let's see. Another little guy. Measuring mutton just to make sure, but I don't think he is going to keep. There's no way. What's going on? Not even close. All right, let's get him back. Got him, guys. We got him. We got him. He's a little guy. He's a little guy. Come here. He might keep. Come on, boat. Let's get out of the bridge. Let's get out of the bridge. Come on. Get out of the bridge. He might keep. fighting this wind. All right. He might keep. Oh, yeah. He's almost 14 inches. Of course he might keep. All right, guys. Check him out. Look at the jaws on that sucker. He's brushed his teeth, don't he? <laughs> That's cool. All right. Let's see if we can get a few more. Might have enough for a little fish fry. Tell you what, as cold as it is in this wind, you that water feels good. Untangle this mess. And go back down that hole. All it is, man, we have a current and we have wind. And they're both going the opposite directions of each other. And it's got the boat blowing into this dock or floating into this bridge because of the current. Not because of the wind. If I can get this thing to push off enough to where it will just swing out, just give me room to fish, that would be amazing. All right, dropping right down behind these pilings again. Wait till you can feel that rod tip go heavy. You don't feel a thump at all. Come on, troll motor, please don't drive into the bridge. Dude, we are on, guys, and he was sitting there holding it. Sitting there holding it. Don't drive me in the bridge. I'm sitting there holding it. A little better fish. A little better fish. All right, I can't deal with the thing driving in the boat while I'm sitting there trying to get a fish off the hook. This current is insane today. If the current and the wind opposing each other. I'm trying to keep there we go. Let's see if I can do that while I get this dude off the hook. Make sure he's 12. I don't want any 
surprises from the law, man. Okay. All right, guys. Check him out. Not as big as the last trip. All right. That's four. All right, guys. Let me show you how I'm rigged up here. All right. Check this thing out. This little jig head right here. This is bird of prey. This is what they call a swing jig. The color is fiddler crab, but just take that fiddler crab, just stick him right through his shell with the tip of the hook just pointed out of the top of his shell. And that's what I'm doing to catch these sheep's head on. But let me see if we can go here and get another one. Landed my fourth one. The GoPro battery was dead. So we're gonna see if I can get the fifth one on camera. I've got a couple of these crabs left. I did not bring enough. And he thumped it and stole it. Yep, stole it. Gone just that quick. You feel that thump and if you don't set the hook, that's it. All she wrote. Okay. Let me show you how. Clean all these things off. I've got sand on them. Okay. But anyways, here's your crab. Anyways, like I said, there's the crab. I'm going to show you how to bait him up as you go right through the bottom. Just like so. And there he is. That's all you do. And the boat in this current it has been an ongoing battle all morning long in this crap because the current's going out the wind's blowing in then I set the trolling motor on the anchor and the wind just blows me all over the place okay Let's see if spot lock holds this time. All right. Just like so. And just that quick. Dump bump, gone. Nope. He's still there. That's how you your bait. There we go. Just like that. Let's see what we can do here. Come on, troll motor. We got him, guys. We got a good one too. We got a good one. Look at that sheep's head. That's a net. That's a net. Right there. That's a net sheep. Come on, let's get the net. That's a good fish there. That is a nice fish. All right. He's barely hooked. Come here, barely hooked. Look at that. All right, fellas. These dudes poop on everything you get around with. All right. Like I said, he was barely hooked. Simmer down. All right. Another one for the boat. Number five on camera. Cool deal. Run out of bait. Go back there and throw some lures. Boat. Got him. I got him. That's a good one, guys. That's a good one, guys. That is a nice fish. Oh, yes, it is. That's a netting fish. Come here. Look at that sheep. Look at that sheep. He's digging. He's digging. Come here. All right. That's awesome. Bigger ones are coming out now. 
That is so much fun, guys. That is so much fun. That is a cool fish. These guys are just a blast to catch. And he is every bit of 12 inches. I might even want to measure this dude. All right. Let me get you off the hook. That is just awesome. So much fun to catch these fish. This is the best part about fishing this time of year. You get to come out in the cold and fight sheephead. This dude is looking coming off this hook. Get off of there. All right. Got another one. There he is, folks. The teeth on that sucker. He's snaggle tooth. I got two crabs left. Let's see if we can get one more. There you go. Let's see if we can drag one out of there. Got him. I got him. It's a good one. It's a good one, guys. Oh, it's a good fish. This is a good fish. Goodness, this is a good fish. Don't get in the structure. Don't good grief, that's a sheep's head. Look at the size of this fish. Don't break me off. Woo, guys, look at this fish. Man, oh man. On the last bait, do I catch a monster? I mean, this dude is a hog on the last bait of the day you cannot make this stuff up you just can't make this stuff up this right here i bet you is my pb let's see what we got here nope he ain't a pb but he's every bit of 18 inches all right so that is cool right there 18 inch sheep's head that's a way to way to use the last bait of the day we're on guys we're on it's a nice fish what is it a little red fish i think that's a trout oh little red little rat and he swallowed it poor little dude poor little guy all right guys look at that cute little rat red right there a little spot little blue tail all right As we were on, what did we get? Oh, a large mouth. All right. Not the targeted species, but still fun. Don't need a hook in my hand, dude. Cute little guy. All right. <laughs> Well, folks, that's a wrap. Thanks for tuning into the channel. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment. If Facebook's your thing, head on over to the Gilman Fishing Facebook page and hit the follow button. Thanks again for watching. See you on the next video.